So in doing this for the last 10 years, the number one question I get without a doubt is where do you get the best pizza in Hernando County? And the problem is that pizza is so subjective. Whether you're going for thin crust, thick crust, whether you're going for gourmet or good old fashioned hangover style pizza. But if you're really asking me where the number one pizza is in Hernando County, it's always been my buddy Tony and he's just opened up a slice shop here behind Red Lobster off of US 19 called Yo Paulie's Pizza Shop. Let's go in and check it out. Hey Tony, how you doing? Good man. How are you? How you doing, Ross? Good man, good. So this is Tony, everybody. Uh, this is the famous pizza chef here. Now, what made you want to get into doing pizza in the first place? Well, at first it was my uncle. Friday night, 12 years old, I got to make pizzas. The guy walked out. So, and 34 years later, I'm still making pizza. Awesome. You've Thanks got to him. Pretty much perfected at this point, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm still learning. Okay. Actually, still learning. Yeah. And how long have you been in the restaurant industry? Um, 34 years. Okay. Yeah. 12 years old, I started getting in there, cleaning tables, busting. I taking know, orders. I know you've gone through a transition of having mm -hmm. restaurants, having food trucks, and now opening up a storefront again. Why, uh, why are you going back to the storefront? We came back into the storefront to uh, kind of get my son Paulie into the business and just have a bigger commissary because with the food trucks, it's been kind of busier, so we just needed more space, prep stuff like that. So by acquiring the overhead, we just figured might as well just open up a pizza shop. Everyone's always asking when we are mobile for the pizza, like, where can I get this all the time? And instead of following me, it's like, now you can come in here. This is the address, and you can get the three styles we serve. So what styles are you serving? We do New York style pizza thin crust by the slice, which is a quarter of an quarter of an 18 inch pizza. Detroit style, which is a deep dish, like fluffy air, cheese ran to the edge and caramelized. And then the uh, Neo Napolitano style. And we say Neo Napolitano because traditional Napolitano styles, like with our wood fire cart, we're doing a wood fire pizza. Here we have a special, um, an electric bake oven that has heat on top and the bottom. So it force bakes it like a wood fired oven. So it's a different style. Very cool. So if any of you guys have followed me for a while, you'll know that when I did the best pizza in Hernando County, uh, Tony's Pizza over at Nina's Cucina at the time was the one that came out number one. Uh, so can we see what you're making today? Yeah, let's go. All right, come on back. All right, so today we're gonna remake the Pizza Sofia that Ross voted best pizza 10 years ago. So we have our dough out to get the room temperature. This is a 48 hour fermented dough. And take this out delicately with this, this kind of dough has a really high hydration, so you can't open it traditionally on the table. It'd be very rough with it, so you have to be really easy. Just open it up some. And we use a fresh spinach, not a, a, a chopped or frozen. This has a lot more flavor, breaks down easy. And put the cheese here on the top. We do the dollops of the fresh sauce on top, so it's kind of like an upside down pizza. A little fresh garlic, a little mixture of uh, Pecorino Romano, Parmigiano Reggiano, and some oregano. I'm gonna finish it off with some feta cheese here. And right into our oven, which I said, this is the one that's electric, has baking on top and the bottom. Put that in there. Our seven minutes is up, and here is our Pizza Sofia. All right, guys, so here is the famous Pizza Sofia. I cannot wait to get into it. Perfect underneath. Such good flavor, really good balance. A little sharpness from the feta. The sauce is delicious. Always been my favorite, always will be. It's absolutely delicious, guys. Make sure you come in and try this. All right, so. Another pizza, like I mentioned, was the Detroit style, which is the deep dish. So I made a custom one for Ross today coming. This is a bit larger, but traditionally our deep dish Detroit's are in eight by 10. So we place the dough in, and then it's just gonna get smothered with cheese. So the cheese goes all the way to the edges. And this is what goes around and it caramelizes the sides. Detroit's are similar to the Sicilian pizza. The only difference is that a Sicilian pizza has a bread crust, where this one does not. Now this is gonna go in the oven just like this. Take this out, go around, make sure it's separated. Parmesan oregano. That is a cheese Detroit style. All right guys, so let's get into the Detroit pizza. Look at the 
caramelized cheese on the side there. This is gonna be an absolute mess, but here we go. So that's actually really deceptive. Looks like it would be a very, very heavy pizza base. It's not. It's super light, super airy, absolutely delicious. Completely different from the thin slice, uh, but just as tasty. Really, really good, guys. Make sure you come in and try the Det uh, Detroit style. They're one of the only places around here doing it. Okay, so we weren't exactly sure what the kids would think about it. They're very picky with their pizza, uh, meaning very awkward. They like their Domino's for some best reason known to themselves. However, uh, do you guys give it the kids' uh, thumbs up seal of approval? Yes. Yeah. So Tony, thank you so much for yeah. inviting us in You're today. Welcome. Thanks and for coming in. myself and the family. Yeah. It was awesome. Good seeing you again. Uh, now, as well as the store, you also have the food truck, of course, doing wood-fired pizza. We have, yeah, the wood-fired pizza cart goes out. We have a slice cart that goes out. And um, we also have the cheesesteak trailer. And generally, we're, you can find us at Marker 48. We're pretty much that's our partner brewery, so we're always there. Um, you can check on their website or their Facebook, our Facebook for Nina's Cucina. Instagram is uh, ninas.cucina. And basically, that's it. You know, come here, stop by. We're open Tuesday through Saturday, close Sundays and Mondays. We do catering, we do mobile catering with the pizzas. Okay, so. awesome. Well, make sure you check them out, guys. Like you said, on Facebook and Instagram at Nina's Cucina. Check us out at the Hardy Team Real Estate and Hernando County Food Lovers. Make sure you stay hungry and eat local.